Hey everyone, it's Sim here from The Fusing Shop. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing how to make this cool spoon on a lathe. So let's go in and get started. What's going on good people? This is Sim here from The Fusing Shop. In today's video, we're going to be doing, making a glass spoon on the lathe. And right now I have some 25 millimeter heavy wall tubing chucked up on the right side there. We're going to be using pink today because I was in a pink mood. So therefore, that is what we're going to do. Now on the left side, I have a clear um, punty in the lathe as well. And what we're going to be doing is attaching these two together. I already have the 25 millimeter tube closed down. And I'm going to hot seal these two together. So just get the ends of those nice and juicy hot. And gently kiss those together. And then pull back on, on the lathe a little bit. Make sure you get a nice connection there. Because the whole pipe is going to be built off this connection. So you want to make sure it's good and everything is straight. And we are going to go in for shaping the mouthpiece right now. So to shape the mouthpiece, this is the same as doing it by hand. Uh, except I'm using the lathe which makes things much much easier. So to make the mouthpiece, I'm going to heat up the tube until I get a nice red ring around the glass. Keep, make sure you keep your torch in one spot when you're doing this. And if you're doing this by hand, then rotate in one spot and make sure that you're not going all over the place with the, with the flame. Now we let the glass cool off a little bit. Well, mine might need a little bit more heat in there. You want to make sure you get a nice even heat in there before you go and puff this out. Right now I'm letting the glass cool off for a couple seconds and now I'm puffing it out. You can see that little bubble forming in the glass. No comments on how the shape of this looks right now. Thank you very much. Um, and the next part we're going to do is shaping the mouthpiece. So we're going to heat right next to where we just blew that bubble. Not on the bubble, but right next door to it. And just get that nice and juicy hot. And this is where we're going to be. We're going to break the pipe off later. So I'm just going to heat and let that glass condense down and thicken up a little bit. And kindly hit that like button for me real quick. Thank you very much. It is greatly appreciated and it really helps out the channel. And um, yeah, it's awesome. Thank you guys so much for your support and your love and kindness. And right there, I just puffed in a little bit. So I didn't puff out. I actually sucked in a little bit and that closed that tube down a little bit more, making that nice condension there with the glass. Right now, I'm adding a nice tapered heat starting at one end and moving my torch down. Again, try to keep your torch in the same spot as you do this so you get a nice even heat throughout your piece. And this will make a nice taper shape when I pull this out in a second. Start at one side, run the torch down, and this is the way you make a taper when you use the lathe. It's a very easy process. Don't pull right away, wait a couple seconds. And then you can gently, gently start pulling that glass out. Your goal here is to keep pulling until the glass stiffens up so everything stays straight and on center. And you get that beautiful taper where this is already starting to shape up like a nice spoon already. And while the glass is cooling, let's do our dad joke for today's video, which is you can't keep secrets in the bank. Because there are too many tellers. I don't know if you guys actually know what bank tellers are, but there used to be actual people when you worked at the bank. Not like it is nowadays. We could do everything through your phone. You actually had to go to a person and to the bank, which was, uh, when I was a kid, was always an experience. Standing in line with my parents for like an hour waiting for a return at the bank. I, I don't miss it. I don't miss it. It was not, uh, it was not fun times. Anyway, right now I'm heating up that glass. And I'm also going to be closing down the lathe to thicken up that glass because I'm going to be blowing out the bowl portion soon. And you want to make sure your bowl is nice and thick. That's where all the action happens. And we want to make sure that it's durable and sturdy. So I'm slowly heating up that uh, massive glass and closing the lathe down as we do it. And what that's um, what's happening is that glass is beginning to thicken up even more than it is. I'm already using heavy wall tubing, but this makes it even heavier, which is, uh, again, we're going for durability here. 
and make sure you maintain air pressure. You don't want the tube collapsing on you. And do this slowly and gently. Do not muscle the glass because you will end up deforming something. So slow and steady wins, wins the race. All right. And right now I'm la I let the glass cool off and now I'm gently puffing in. And I'm also closing the lathe down as well to give myself that squat shape or the onion, if you want to call it that. And it puffed out a little bit too thin for me. So what now, right now I'm putting some more heat in there and I'm going to let that gla glass condense back down on itself. So if you ever puff something too, um, too much, just reheat and let that glass do its thing and it'll thicken up again. All right, everything's looking good. This pipe is slightly off center. You could see it as it spins on the lay that uh, there is a high point, which is okay. Doesn't have to be, you know, perfectly centered. And you could see already how it's shaping up into a, uh, the spoon shape, the traditional spoon shape. Right now, I'm just hitting it with some heat taking out any stress in the glass. You always want to make sure you keep your glass nice and hot to avoid shocking it and having cracks. So that's always a good tip to know. Whenever you're working with thicker glass, you have to make sure to keep everything nice and warm. I got my bowl push ready. And right now we're going to pop the bubble and push that bowl. First, I got to close the lathe off. There we go. And now you spot heat, you know, you decide where you want to put your bowl. And then you're going to spot heat. And I'm going to blow a blister. I'm not going to pop it just yet. I'm just going to blow the blister out first. And you can see it beginning to pop up in the glass. And then I'm just going to use the edge of the flame to pop that hole open. Make sure you pop it in the flame so you don't make bubble trash there. It just popped. And I like to make small holes for uh, my spoons. It um, gives you the option of not having to use a screen filter. So I like to pop relatively small holes in these. And then just go in with your, you know, heat around the hole. Don't heat the hole itself. And go in with your bowl push and rotate as you go in. And just sink that bowl. You could do it in more than one shot like I'm doing here. I like a nice deep bowl. Just checking to see where it's how it's looking. And I'm going to go ahead and go in for another push. Heating up that glass around the hole and just gently pushing in with the graphite. There we go. We've got a nice deep bowl going now. Awesome. Give it a quick flame polish to remove the tool marks from the graphite. And now we're going to go ahead and pop the carb. To pop the carb, same thing. We're going to spot heat where we want it to be. And then we're going to puff out that blister. I'm using the bowl push to plug up the hole so I can have air pressure. And puff, puff, puff. You don't have to blow like a maniac. Small puffs are enough to get the glass to move. And then just use the edge of the flame to pop that open. Boom, so it just popped right there. Now we have a nice hole. Go ahead and give that a quick flame polish. And this spoon is about 90% done right now. The last thing we have to do is, the, is take it off the lathe. Oh, nope, forgot something. Whoops, just kidding, guys. It's about 85% done. Um, right now I'm going to flatten off the bottom. This way it doesn't roll away and sits nice and flat on the table. So just go ahead and heat up some glass on the bottom and just give it a gentle touch with the paddle. And that is looking good. Okay, last step is to detach and uh, get this into the kiln. So I'm gonna first start with the punty side. Going with a nice gentle annealing flame here or reducing flame it's called and get some heat back into that pipe since I haven't worked on the mouthpiece area in a while. And again, we don't want it to crack when I go and uh, put the torch back on it. 
That's okay. It gets a little bit of soot built up on it. That is not a problem. Flame cut off the end. And there is a little bit of extra glass left. So I'm going to go ahead and take a punty and peel that off. You could also do this with tweezers. Heat up the uh, glass that you want to remove. Make sure your punty is hot and just touch the tip to it and just peel that glass off. And when you're done, you can just melt in whatever is left. And make sure it looks nice and smooth and beautiful on the end. And then we're going to crack this pipe off. And to crack it off, uh, the way I like to do it is using my diamond shears. I'm going to take my tongs and support the pipe because now it's not being held by anything. And I'm going to heat up where I made uh, right right after your mouthpiece where the glass is kind of condensed and smushed there. I'm going to use the diamond shears to grab that and uh, give them a squeeze and a tap and that should break off nice and clean for us. And that's looking pretty good. Still a little bit of glass to melt in. All right, moving along. Make sure you have your tools at the ready when you go ahead and do this step because you don't want the pipe flying all over the place. So I'm just getting everything in position now. I'm getting my diamond shears and my tongs ready to go. And I'm going to just support that pipe using the tweezers. Moving the shears where I need them to be so I'm, I'm uh, at the ready. So make sure you, uh, once this glass gets molten, make sure you support it or else it's just going to drop down and you could close it up, which we do not want to do. So just be there for support. Make sure you support the pipe. Just like you support the channel. And thank you guys so much if you're uh, still with me and stuck this through. I appreciate it. Grab it with the shears. Give it some pressure. Give it a couple twisties. And give it a tap, tap, tap and boom nice and clean what's great about this and doing it on the lathe is um and you have a nice small hole there for your mouth that's what i was trying to show in the camera but it was not cooperating so <laughs> um is that you could just slide this tube down close it down and start the process all over again so this is easy to uh for mass production which is really fantastic. You can just continue to make spoon after spoon after spoon all off that same piece of tubing. And then rinse and repeat. There we go. Flame polish that end. This way it's nice and smooth. No one's going to get a cut lip on that. And that's going to go into kiln to anneal. Here is the finished pipe. I got a video of it after it was done annealing for you guys because I know you requested it. So here we go. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I might send this pipe out to someone who comments, so please do so, and I'll see you guys in the next video.